Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Despot's Game. It's been a while since uh, we showed this game on YouTube, actually. It was actually we it, it was actually well liked and well received by the community, I gotta say. So I'm happy to announce one Pliono is here. What's different in the game? I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like a ton of stuff was added. Uh they had some new enemies and they did tons of balancing. Apparently they have some unique weapons and like some other things for the original game mode. Uh, through, in the middle of early access, they added this brawl mode, which is actually what I enjoy a lot more now. The original game mode, it's very long. It's kind of uh, arduous and uh, quite difficult, too, I'd say. That's sort of how you determine where you wound up in King of the Hill and everything. Uh, but I think the main peak of it is figuring out where you wind up on the leaderboards. That's kind of the fun part is seeing where you wind up. Because after you beat the original mode of the game, you get to uh, pit your team against other people's winning teams. But the problem is you might not even win. You might not even get to that point in the game. But Brawl Mode kind of helps that, I'd say. So why don't we start off on a Brawl Mode? Because this is sort of what I enjoy in the game again. And I'll try to explain it best I can. These are the three uh, humans we start with. I'm going to talk as if you've never seen this game before for now. I'm just going to go with that. Let's speed it up over here in the bottom right. Uh, so let's see. So first of all, this, you can lose, uh, you have three lives. So when you lose three times, that's when your run is over. The goal is to get 10 wins. It'll actually let you go past 10 wins, but you know, getting 10 is sort of the goal here. So this is a little similar to Super Auto Pets because this game is an auto battler. Uh, so this mode is much more similar to that. This is how much money we have. That's simply how many humans we have. Uh, and you can move them around and position them anywhere on the left side of the field here. This is the upgrade tree that you can choose from. Uh, so you have things like more mana, more health, and these are specific to the different classes. Fencers heal themselves for 15% damage out, for instance. And then here are the different classes. So all the different classes have different synergies. So if you want the level five tank ability, for instance, you'd have to have five different tiered tanks. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we got tank, we got a tank, we have a trickster as they're called, and we have a mage right now. You can see them highlighted there. So in between the actual PvP, we got some PvE battles. Uh, so let's see, I'm kind of just going to roll with the punches. These are mutations that will upgrade specific things, usually to specific classes. So the shooter class heals themselves for 10% of the damage dealt. Not bad. Mages get 15% added to attack speed for 20 seconds when using an active ability. That's okay. Fencer's class receives plus 30% attack speed. Not bad. Shooters return 50% of the damage back to the enemies. Also not bad. Hmm. Anybody can go fencers. Um, so I always do really well with mages here. I'm not certain the game has been balanced around the brawl mode as much as it has been for the original game mode. Uh, we also get some free rerolls here. I think... Even though we don't have any fencers right now. That sounds pretty good. Vampirism for shooters. Uh, shooters are really powerful too. Maybe I'll try to force shooters to a degree here. We'll see what happens. I'll show you how we actually get more humans in a second here. All right. So here, here's where you recruit. So in the early game, you kind of just got to take something. And you can't be too selective, I think. No shooters here. So you got throwers, you got eggheads, you got healers. We're just gonna recruit some mages since they're here and they're there. It costs money. So you can upgrade these things to make them cost less. The upgrade down here, it refills your shop, gives you more humans to choose from, or equipment rather. And it makes it so you can see rarer tiers. So there's five different tiers. So every class has five different types to get. So right now we have two different types of mages. We got this one and this one. We have two of the same also down here. Uh, so now we have a level two mage, but you don't actually get the ability to level three. This is a lot to take in, I'm realizing. So maybe it's best if you just kind of keep an eye out. So we're gonna, this is the PVP battle. It's at the end of every floor. I think we'll do okay. I'm gonna slow it down for this so you can see. Just cause with three mages, I think we're pretty good. Uh, I think we're good here. It was kind of close. We get everyone back at the end of a PvP map, but if we lose anyone in the PvE portion, they are gone, gone. But I don't think there's I've ever had a singular struggle with that. All right. 
I see nothing to do with fencers. I mean, uh, shooters here, judging by the icon. So I think we roll for either something for shooters or mages, I guess, at this point. This is for everybody. On death, all units increase a random allies health by 100. I just don't think it's that good. Oh, we kind of get scrammed here. This one's not bad if we want to do fighters. We don't currently have any fighters. It's kind of a big one, though. Fighters have a 10% chance to cast fear on attack for three seconds if the enemy's attack is lower. Is that good? Actually, I don't think it's that good. We'd want that on uh, the shooters, if anything. The drone joins the human side before the fight. So that's kind of just a okay one to have. Uh, Cause you just get one extra little unit there at the start of each battle. Doesn't do a lot. It's not that meaningful. May just get 50% attack speed. Never they use an attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I take that? I guess I do. I know I haven't touched the upgrade tree yet. It's because you don't really want to do it till you see the shops. And I think you never really upgrade before the first shop. I could be wrong about that. Ooh, wow. Three shooters to start us off here. We're going to buy those two. We also have to buy the humans. You can also get rid of humans if you so choose. You're going to go in the front. Maybe now's a good time. Let's see. So shooters, we can give rubber bullets. I don't know if I want to do that or just give uh, all of our humans some more health. Mage one's not good right now. We're going to need the reroll, actually. So why don't we do health and reroll? And now we can't afford a human and this. And I don't know if I really want it anyway. I don't really want to double up on the same type of shooter, at least not yet. This is starting to look pretty decent, I'd say. There we go. Another win. Two wins in. Down we go. Let's see. That's the same one. I'm just looking for shooter and mages, right? Is that what I decided? Shooters and mages. Double range there. Mages have a 30% chance to stun an enemy attacking them for one second. Is that good? It sounds pretty good, right? Multicast is okay. I'm going to roll past it. There's some really juicy ones we could be getting. I guess sparks. Each time humans act abilities used, random enemy takes 50 magic damage. Oh, it's now called magic damage. Okay. I guess we'll take that then. That's not great. Okay. Let's see. What do we got? Nothing for the classes we want. Still nothing. This one's kind of interesting with the newbies. Hmm. When approached by an enemy, newbies are inflicted with fear and flee, making them... Making enemies attack them. That's interesting. God, I can't get anything for shooters and mages now. Because we're taking explosive death. It's the only thing that does anything there. All right. Let's keep going. You can see we're losing small amounts of health here. We can ditch these classes later. We might want to. I think we upgrade the shop once here again. I don't know if I want that. Let's roll. It's a weak one. Gonna roll again. Starting to get greedy there. I already have this one. Do I take it anyway? We're gonna be weak this round. I can feel it. There's another mage. I really need the third mage, though. Do I take this laser sword for now? It's awfully expensive. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that and that. So we got an extra trickster, at least. And they get some abilities. But we're still quite weak, I'd say. We spent all of our money. Up against Garfi! Let's see how we do here. We got a lot of throwers. Close. Ah, still in it. Three wins. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, if you played Super Auto Pets, that's probably the biggest similarity, but there's a lot of stuff that can go on in the meantime. And you have lots of different classes you can try to make work. 
Is the balance all there for this mode? I don't know. I'm gonna greedily roll past that. Mage just leave 100% more experience. I just don't love it. Guess I'm taking multicast here, finally. I'm kind of looking for shooter, shooter ones, especially. Okay, let's see. What do you got? Those stink. Those also stink. What is going on over here? Shooters have a 30% chance to stun. Okay, I guess we're taking that one. Let's go with that. The shooters can summon. Uh, if I get a mutation, shooters can start summoning things, which is really important. All right, so we got a good mage here. So now I have level three on the mage, so they'll start casting Thunderbolt, which is good. So I can replace Thunderbolt with Chain Lightning, which sounds pretty juicy, I think, for now. And now we're out of money, so we move on here. Hmm, we didn't recruit a lot here, that's for sure. Okay, I don't know why I'm... I got them so far forward. Okay. Really need these mages to carry us. Ah, uh, nope. One loss. Yeah, I felt a little weak that time. If you're not recruiting, it's sometimes a bad time. Shooters rush to healers when below 20% health. I don't have healers. Shooters purge all negative effects from themselves every 10 seconds for 15 mana. So casting a spell takes time also. It's time that they're not attacking and such. Ability cooldowns are 1.11 times shorter. Guess I'm going to take that. I don't feel good about it, though. This probably isn't going to be a good match. I feel like we have not gotten the luck yet. This is quite good. Cultists can now summon zombies from dead bodies every five seconds for 10 mana. I do like that. What's this mage one? Mages get 100% added to armor for three seconds when using active ability. It does not stack. Well, that is also very good, too, though. Might be more mage than... Uh, shooter here at this rate. What can you do, though? All right, let's see. Those are all pretty terrible. Don't really want to upgrade right now. Mages or shooters? Do I just take any mage? I might just take any mage right now. I don't think I upgrade yet. Mages or shooters, for the love of God. Okay, we'll take that. You know what? I'm just going to go go big here. Get all the mages out here. As many as we can muster. Burpee 05. They're tanks and shooters. And I think we got absolutely destroyed. Two losses. Only three wins. Aye, aye, aye. Valor's okay. If there are more enemies than humans, each human gets plus 10 armor for each extra enemy. So it's really defensive. I'd probably get rid of all of these. But the thing is, we actually have quite a few recruits. Penetrating shots. Shooters use penetrating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. I think we're going to take that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this. I'm feeling another loss coming in here. What's this one? Mages deal 50 more magic damage. Triggers each tick for abilities over time. I guess? I guess? Shooters, probably not a good combo. Shooters and mages, honestly. Do they need more mana? I can give them more mana. That's a new shooter, at least. Very good. I have 28 monies. Do I give them rubber bullets, or do I just get some health here? I think we just might do some health here. Can we survive? Assumingly, the game will match you up against someone with a similar track record who's, you know, three and two right now. Two losses, three wins, or something like that. Oh, dear God! <laughs> we got absolutely destroyed there. <laughs> oh. Let's start. Let, let's do another one real quick, and we'll see what we get. Uh, I don't usually do that bad. They had throwers and they threw themselves at me. All right, let's do another one. They're quick. I like it like that. It's uh, I like the, the quickness of it. I'm just kind of looking for things that are particularly strong in general, not specific to a class. Tricksters return 40% damage back to the enemy. 
think I kind of like that. I like tricksters. I don't know if the game likes tricksters, though, in the sense that they're actually worthwhile. We got another trickster right there. We'll snag them. Do I grab this shooter? I think I do. I can actually buy that thing, too. I'll do it. I'm just going to buy. It's so, it's so cheap. Let's see. Do I put tricksters in the front? Kind of doesn't matter. All right. Let's see. If you like this, if you like what you see, let me know in the comments and I'll put more videos out. That's how we work around here, you know? That's all we can do. Let's see. We're, the only slight way we're edging right now is tricksters. Don't see anything especially strong right away. Yeah, I don't like those. Shooters get 30% more attack speed. Okay. Shooters and tricksters sound like a decent combo. They sound all right. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Get the drone. Let's say no to all that. I'm, I'm always worried I'm going to miss something. Shooters get 30% chance to evade enemy attacks. That sounds pretty dang good to me. Okay, we'll take that one. Thank you very much. All right, about to recruit here. We got another trickster of the same varietal. It is not great. Ooh, nice. Then we got a good trickster. And then we have 11 monies. Not certain what we want to do for that purpose. Let's get everyone, like, hard in the front here. Not certain how far back you want to go. Um, And let's see. We have $11. I think it's a good time to just do some health then for our for our allies. Not a bad start, I'd say. So what's the trickster's ability? They get a level one dodge. Okay, so I have to actually go over here. Once every 15 seconds, a trickster evades an attack by back stepping. So, and the cooldown is reduced the higher the level is. So that's what we want. Ooh, tricksters have a 10% chance to cast fear on attack for three seconds if the enemy's attack is lower. Shooters return 50% damage back to the enemy. Do I actually want to cast fear via melee? I don't know. I guess we'll try it. The thing is, when you cast fear on an enemy, they start running away. They don't, they're not attacking during that. But you, our, our allies will chase after them. So that's kind of iffy, to be honest. I don't know about multicast there. What else you got? Tricksters slow the enemy's attack by 30% for five seconds on their own attack. I guess? We definitely have a lot of tricksters. Okay, looking good. That's a shooter, but we already have them. Maybe upgrade the reroll now. There's a shooter we don't have, at least. Upgrade. Oh, I want it. There's no way to lock, by the way. Do I buy anything else here? Healer, tank. I might roll once more. Another shooter. I don't know how much another shooter would really help us here. Maybe we don't. What can I buy, if anything? Hmm. I'm gonna roll again. Possibly a mistake. Do we just hold out? Maybe I try to hold out. Yeah, okay, let's hold. I don't know. I feel okay. Let's see how we do here. Lots of evades. Perfect. It looks good to me. I'll take more battles like that. Thank you. True is purge. All negative effects from themselves every 10 seconds. Yeah. Let's skip that, I think. Human's active ability is used. Deal 50 magic damage. What's the shooter's active ability? They don't have one. Tricksters have the back step. I guess that's kind of okay. I assume the back step would activate it. I guess I don't know for certain. Okay. I don't see anything useful there for us. 
Ignoring its cooldown and mana cost. So they could be backstepping uh, even with the cooldown, I guess. Okay, looks good. No mages. We already have that trickster, but they're probably worth it still. What's the trickster uh, ability that we can get here, by the way? Where is it? Fighters. Oh, tricksters destroy 30 health with each attack. Hmm, I don't know about that. Well, there's a trickster we don't have. Beautiful. I could consider getting rid of some of these allies now, but I don't know. All right, we have 24 money. Sure, we'll do the trickster one now, I think. That's okay. We have three different tricksters and two shooters. What is that lineup they got going on right there, I gotta say? Uh-oh. It's looking a little spicy. I think that's... That's an L for us. That's an L. Bang. Three and two right now. That's too bad. Couldn't kill them fast enough. Trickers have a 30% chance to evade. The thing is, we don't have a lot of damage. We definitely do not have a lot of damage. All right, this time, though. No mages. What else you got? Valor. Hmm. I can't see it because of my face. I apologize. Have I been blocking stuff this whole time? Shooters can poison enemies for five seconds. Every 18 seconds for 20 minutes, dealing 250 magic damage. I don't get the feeling that that one's worth it. Maybe I'll take Valor and we recycle... We sacrifice the two humans that are not doing anything for us right now. Or three, because we have a mage too. And kind of keep the team a bit on the leaner side. Okay. That is not what we want. All right, we got a couple shooters. We got a juicy one here, even. We put that over there. Think about what we want to do here. Do I want to roll? I can't really afford anything else. Do I upgrade? Do I take more health? I don't know. It's tough. Let's give him more health. Let's give him more health for now. They got tricksters and mages. We are going to get dumpster trucked right here. <laughs> mages are really strong. I know all too well. I force mages and we and I usually do well. Which feels kind of bad, right? Penetrating shots for shooters? I guess so. All right, let's see. More shooter stuff. Shooters receive the ability to launch bullets at enemies that deal 150 damage in a large random area, falling for four seconds of rain of bullets that's already been unleashed, using it again to increase the frequency. I've never tried that one. I guess I'll try it. All right, let's see. What do you got? Let's see. I think I vote no to those. No to those. No to those. No. Do I just take that trickster still? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe more trickster somehow equals more good? I'm not so certain, especially with Valor now. I don't have that shooter, so that's nice at least. Yeah, maybe we don't take more of those if we already have them since we have Valor. Burzen. All right, let's slow it down because it might be our last one. Shooters and fencers. And we got absolutely destroyed. Ah! Not not a good uh, not a good track record for me on this video here. But hey, you know, it's a uh, PvP, so it's not going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? All right. If you all want to see more Despots game, if you like the game, if you like the look of it, like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And I'll see you all in the next video. All right. Bye, everybody.